Today we will be desoldering an iPod Touch 4th generation dock connector. The tools you'll need are low melt alloy solder and quick chip removal flux. First we're just going to flood this whole area with some flux. Next, we are going to get some this low melt alloy solder here. Just get a ball like that, and then you're going to work it in back and forth. You're just going to keep working it in for a while here. You should be able to start seeing it get a little shinier with this new solder that you're mixing in there. We got a little bit more flux to it here. And a little bit more solder here. That's going to help it mix together. Should be getting pretty close to being able to remove it now. We'll just keep working in just a little bit longer though. I'm gonna remove, remove, repeat the process of putting some more flux and solder in one last time here. Should be ready to remove it here, if not very close. Then you can just lift it right out of there. It'll be hot. We're just going to get it, it just falls right out. Next, what you want to do is apply more flux. We 
you gotta get all that old solder off using desoldering braid. You wanna know, be gentle with this. Don't put much pressure, just work it back and forth slowly. You can see how it's starting to get rid of all of it. I'm going to cut mine real quick. It's full of solder. Add just a little bit more flux. Never use enough of it. Okay, I think we have uh, all this old solder out. I'm going to go over it just a couple more times to make sure. And then finally, you will want to just clean up the area with a good alcohol wipe here. And then you can see how uh, all of the solder is removed and you're ready to put your new dock in.